Jerry's meet trouble. Fifty days after God sent Jesus rose from the dead, the Holy Spirit came to live within his, fo his followers. Although this disciple didn't understand how God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit could all be one God. They were happy to have God with them. God did wonderful things to help the apostles tell others about Jesus. People who believed on Jesus shared everything. They had so that poor were cared for. But when Capulet, Ananias, and Sapphire were dishonest, they saw some land and pretended to bring all the money to the apostles. Secretly, they kept some back for themselves. Why a certain fear they heard to rise the Holy Spirit? Peter asked Ananias. We have not died to man, but to God. Then, and then he fell down and breathed his dust. And the young man wrapped him up, carried him out, and buried him. A short time later, Sophia came in, not knowing that her husband has died. She also died about the money, and the same thing happened to her. Great fear came on all who heard these things. God has spread the many signs and wonders through the apostles. For example, sick people were healed when Peter's shadow fell on them. It was a, it was a time of great miracles showing God's presence. More and more, people believed on Jesus. This made the high priest very angry. He had the apostles put in jail. But at night, an angel of the road opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go! Stand in the stem, stand in the temple, and speak to the people all the words of this life. The apostles went out and began to preach about Jesus. And the morning, the hard pressed man found the jail empty. When he finally found them, the high priest called the apostles. Did we not strictly command you not to teach in this name? We ought to obey God's rather than men. Peter and the other apostles answered. The high priest was so furious, he wanted to kill the apostles. Instead, he ordered them to be beaten and released. In spite of their pain, the apostles obeyed God and carried on preaching about Jesus. One day, a man called Stephen was arrested. Stephen loved the road Jesus. The high speed was using him to tell others about Jesus. Some men died saying that Stephen was speaking against God. After a mock trial, Stephen was stoned to death because of his faith in Jesus. Before he died, Stephen filled of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God, 
and Jesus standing as the right hand of God. The cross stone stiffened as he was calling on God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then, like Jesus on the cross, this brave man used his dying breath to pray that God would forgive his martyrs. Stephen's death started a new wave of persecution. A young man named Saul, who had helped Stephen's mother, arrested every question he could find. Many of them fled from their homes and were scattered throughout Judea and Samaria. Only the apostles stayed in Jerusalem. Also, their enemies tried to kill them. Those who were scattered went everywhere, preaching the good news about Jesus. Nothing could stop the followers of Jesus, because God's Holy Spirit stayed in them and worked through them. The church made trouble. A story from God's Word the Bible is found in Acts 5 to 7. The Androsphere words gives the right Psalm 119, verse 130. The end.